If we could see the story of life develop as a movie, an exciting moment would be when the single cell animals come together to build multicellular animals, organisms like us. And what we find particularly exciting in our lab is that very often the cells come together and get organized without external guidance. We study uh, two such systems, but one that brings self-organization properties to an extreme is the animal Hydra. Hydra is uh, a freshwater polyp. It's an evolutionary, very old animal. And it has the amazing property that when you dissociate it in single cells, you can make literally a small clump of cells and they are all equivalent. They all have potential to become all possible structures of the animal then they will manage to organize themselves to build again the animal they were coming from. As this uniform group of cells changes and a group, a subgroup of these cells becomes organizers, they instruct the rest of the cells to build the animal from the head to the foot. And they use a special genetic program and they exchange biochemical signals to do that. The interesting thing is that although hydras are 600 million years away from us from an evolutionary point of view, humans and the other vertebrates are using the same biochemical machinery. And this process is found again and again in different natural settings, from uh, developing embryos to regenerating organs and so on. We are interested in understanding the rules of the communication between the cells and ultimately to be able to play with these cells, to tweak them in ways that will allow us to make these cells do the things that we are interested in. The reason that um, our research is of interest right now is because of the growing need for developing extra tissues like um, replacement therapies for brain or heart damage or any other body part or organ. And in all these attempts, people try to understand how to guide cells to build tissues in petri dishes. Following up on this uh, research, ultimately we want to understand the rules that allow the cells to make functional tissues. And if we understand these rules, we might be able to control them. And this can have huge impact on biomedical applications aiming at replacing organs or tissues in humans.